Okay, so now since we've been talking about symbols for a minute or two, let's talk about the elements too. Because very often when we talk about the elements, we use symbols. And although there are a lot of things to learn about the elements, you and I are only going to talk a little bit about them today. And although many pagans feel there are five elements, you and I are going to talk about four of them for now. Do you know what the elements are? Well, in this case, we're not talking about chemistry or math, so you don't have to worry about complicated formulas. <laughs> Thank goodness, right? Okay, now I'm talking about the classical elements, or what all matter is made up of, what's all around us in nature. The four elements I'd like to talk about today are air, fire, water, and earth. Many people also include spirit as an element, but we'll leave that one for another day. Remember just a little bit ago, I told you that a symbol is one thing that reminds you of another thing? Well, the same thing is true with the elements, only very often you'll hear someone say that an element corresponds with something, or maybe many things. When something corresponds with another thing, that means it relates to another thing, or it matches that other thing. For example, the element of air corresponds with the color yellow, and the direction of east. Do you know which way east is from where you are right this minute? Maybe you can ask an adult to help you, or maybe you already know. Because the sun rises in the east, many pagans choose to cast their circles or sacred spaces beginning in the east. Can, can you think of a symbol that reminds you of the element of air? How about a feather? Or how about a bird? Or how about... A yellow bird! I made up a song called If I Was a Bird and it's all about the correspondences of the elements. And this is a small part of how it goes. If I was a bird, I'd know about air. I'd flap and flutter and fly everywhere. It's a fun song. <laughs> the next element that we're going to touch on pss, is the element of fire. Ouch! And as you might be able to guess, the colors of red and orange are what correspond with the element of fire. Also, the direction of south. For me, that way is south. What symbol can you think of to match the element of fire? Maybe a burning match? Sure. How about a single flame? How about the sun? Or even a firefly. If I was a firefly, I'd know about fire. I'd buzz down low and blink up higher. Blink, blink. Sure. Why not? Next is the element of water and the direction of west. Blue is the color most people use to match with this element, although there are many different kinds of blues. Some that are almost white and some that are almost green. What symbol do you think of when you think of water? Maybe a teardrop? Maybe a raindrop? Many pagans use a cup or a chalice to hold water in their rituals, so we might very well think of a chalice to correspond with the element of water. How about... You guessed it, a dolphin! A blue one at that! <laughs> Okay, and th that part of the song goes like this. If I was a dolphin, I'd know about the sea. I'd swim through the water as happy as can be. Ah! Can you do that? Ah! <laughs> All right. And now, the element of Earth, our fourth one, and our last one for today. Green and brown are the colors most people use to match the element of Earth, as well as the direction of North. How about a symbol for Earth? Can you think of one? Maybe a rock? How about a tree? Or just plain old dirt? You betcha, why not? Okay, or how about an earthworm? If I was an earthworm, I'd know about dirt. I'd wriggle through the earth and never get hurt. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Some people don't like dirt at all. Some of us like to get dirty all the time. So there you have it a few correspondences and what that means for the four elements of air, fire, water, and earth. 
I hope you've learned a little bit about it today and that now you can find out where east, south, west, and north are where you live.